Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a background like this on my desktop. Right, so first what we're going to do is go into Photoshop, File, New, and set it to the size you want. For this video I'm setting it to 1200 uh, 1, width by 800 height. Click OK then. Wait for it to load up. Let's close that. Right, now is what you want to do, click on this gradient tool, go on here, and select the colours that you want, I'm just setting mine to light green, fading into darker, right, this is what you're going to do, click the top left corner, drag it down to the bottom right, Now you've got your basic background. Now all we need to do is add some effects. Just go on your brushes and for this I'm going to make some glass smash effects. Which these will be in the um, description. Right. So first of all I'm going to choose this one. Place it up there. And change the colour. Don't forget mine's gonna be very basic compared to yours. Yours will be a lot better than this. Right, just change the style and colour each time. Gives it a better effect. Change that black again. Right now I'm going to do grey. Now once you've done that, you want to add more effects, such as some, like, splodges, like that. Change that back to black. change the style they want. So what we want to do is add a new layer, click on this text button and we're going to add some text textile I'm going to use is called Diffused. A link will be in the description on where to download it. Don't forget this is just basic. Yours will be a lot better than this. Oh and I forgot to say when you're doing this for each effect that you add make a new layer just in case you make any mistakes you can just go back and change it easily right add your text yep I'm happy with that center it press Control T if you want to resize it or you could just use the font resize tool at the top just 
place it in the center. Right now, if you want to add effects to your text, right click your text layer and go into blending options. Here's where you can add like bevel emboss effects, gradient colors, stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add bevel emboss with some texture. Use these little sliders to change it. Happy with that, yeah? Right, now I'm going to go down to gradient overlay. And I'm just going to change the colours of it a little. Might use one of my presets. Such as that one. Just make it a bit darker. There. Or a bit lighter. Okay. Happy with that. Now you can add stroke effects to make it look more cartoony and give it like a quick outline which is pretty simple to do set mine to about six yep add an inner glow Change the colour to green. Add some choke. This probably won't really affect mine because of the um, colours that I've used. But it should affect yours depending on what you're using on it. Oh, and by the way, this contour button doesn't really matter, just it makes it like more cartoony looking, I guess. Right, so now we've got that. That's your basic background made. So now, what we're going to do is go into layer, then go down to merge visible. This will then allow us to add effects to the whole background. Is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an inner glow. To give it like a nice outline. You can also add other effects such as outer glows and stuff like that. Let's set that to normal. Yep, happy with that. And so you want to do is go on file, save as, and export it to where you want to save it to. Thanks for watching my tutorial and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also sign up to MotivatedGamers.com for more tutorials.